Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dorkis. How are you doing? Today's lecture will be on how to make this stylish crop top I have here. And looking at the sketch, it is overlapped in front. So how much you want it to reveal your boobs depends, totally depends on your preference. So here, but this is showing a lot of boobs here. And then the back just goes straight down. Then it has a belt at the lower region. You could have it from the nape all to your waist or a little bit above your waist. That totally depends on your preference. So now this is what we are working with. Now before we get started, if today is your first time of checking out my channel, you're welcome. And please make sure you subscribe. You can check out my other channel, Pattern Drafting with Black Keys and Black Keys Kitchen. Yeah, please subscribe there. And then if you are interested in our sewing tools and our online classes, which we have every month, the contact number will be in the description box below. So now back to business. Now, the, from the nape of the neck to the, the waist of my mannequin is 18 inches. But I will be coming up by one and a half inches to show off some belly. That totally depends on your preference, as I've said. Now, coming up from 18 inches by one and a half should give me 16 and a half inches. Then remember, it is going to have a belt just as we have here. So, I'm just going to take away one and a half inches because I want the height of the belt to be one and a half inches. So I'm going to take away one and a half inches from the 16 and a half to have 15 inches. Now the length of the top I'm making is 15 inches plus half an inch to join it to the belt. That will make it 15 and a half, which is what I have here. The next thing will be to insert half of your ham hole. Half of a ham hole is eight, and eight inches. Sorry. Looking at my pattern paper, you will see I left some space here. That is because the front panel has an overlap. So that was why I did that. The next stage will be to insert the three inches, eight inches standard. Can you see? And then from the eight inches, it just come down by one inch. Can you see? Then you connect from the three inches to the eight inches to have the shoulder slope. Now let's get over to work. Now the waist, the shoulder measurement of my mannequin is 15 inches. When you divide that by two, you have seven and a half. So from this edge, I'm going to measure seven and a half inches. I will insert the bust circumference. The bust circumference of my mannequin is 38. When I divide that by four, I'm going to have nine and half. So nine and half. Then three quarter seam allowance is just fine. So for the ham hole, I'm just going to get the midpoint of this. Coming by three quarter of an inch. That's for the front hand hole. I'm still going to lower the ham hole because of the style. So before I connect it straight here, because it is a open top here, I'm just going to come in by three quarter inch from the shoulder slope here because I don't want to see too much on the edge of my shoulder. That is formed. We are going to have a dart here just to make the bust prominent. So in that case, you will need the bust pan measurement. That is the distance from one nipple to another. So for her, it is seven and a half. And half of that should be three and three quarter correct.
then for the darts i'm going to take in three quarter inch on both sides for instance if i'm making for myself i can take up to one inch on both sides but for these three quarter three quarter then i'm going to come down by one and a half Having done that, we can insert the waist circumference. The waist circumference for her is 30 inches. But when I moved up a bit, because I'm going up by one and a half, so it measured 31 inches. So when I divide 31 by four, that should give me, you know, half or two. So that should give me seven and three quarters. But you should know. We have taken in one and a half here so i'm going to add this one and a half to the seven and three quarter so that's seven eight and a half nine nine and quarter in the seam allowance the three quarter inch seam allowance That's good now listen for the overlap i hope you want it to be the paint on the measurement you take for the upper overlap at times so now if you want it to open up a bit you choose lesser measurement so now i'm going to just use two inches for that because i want it to be open but if you don't want it to be open you could use up to like three and three and a half so that's what i want then coming here for the neckline I'm just going to make it three and a half. I would have done four, but because of hemming the neckline, I'll make it three and a half. So all I'll do is to connect down here. You could make it curvy or just straight. So that means it's going to be open to some way around here from what I have. Then you could even make it curvy, slightly curvy if you want that. So that's what if you want it to be a little bit curved. So that's what you will have. So we are done with the front panel. Don't forget to add your seam allowance at the shoulder, half an inch. Now have it cut out. Then we move to the back. This is what the front panel looks like. So we'll be cutting out two of this, as you can see. So let's move to the back. Now for the back, I already have everything mapped out. There's no overlap at the back at all. So what we have to do here is to maintain the neckline of three and a half, which is here. Then come in by three quarters as we did. Let me just insert the dart. So for the back, I'm just going to make use of half an inch on both sides. Then come down by one inch. The 
and the waist measurement for the front we made use of seven and three quarter then we are going to add extra one inch for that to so that seven and three quarter to make it the eight and three quarter then don't forget the same allowance of three quarter inch already added that to the bust region then for the back there's an opening according to what we have on the paper so it is the bell that attach it to together so just come in by one inch from the edge and connect the straight line so that's it except you want a slight curve too you can make that the last thing will be the half in seam allowance and then I can cut it out so I'm going to cut it off that's the back, this is the front this is what it looks like so what I'm going to do is to quickly cut it out on the fabric so that we can cut the belt and then the sleeve the fabric both looks like after cutting it out then another thing i want to just add in case you want a lowered humble region you know to like since this is part is open your boobs is open you want little of your hole area to be open too that is optional so in case you want that just go down by three quarter inch connect it to the handhold region and you trim it off you see that? so and then you trim it off so that's that so now let's quickly go over to the sleeve and the belt and you can start sewing it up it is time for me to quickly cut the belt and the sleeve so let me quickly explain the belt so for the belt, you can use your waist measurement times two and a half or three. So for my mannequin, our waist measurement is 30 inches. So if I multiply that 30 inches by three, I'm going to have 90 inches. So 90 inches, I'm going to divide that into two to have 45. So all I did now is to cut a fabric by 45. So I just use the, uh, the that's the width of the African print fabric, which comes by 45 to just cut it straight and I have to cut out two then for the length of the sorry the height of the band since I want one and a half then I'll need half an inseam allowance to sew it in that makes it two inches so that means I'll have a total of four four inches by 45 inches so on fold I'll have two inches when I take in half an inch I'll be left with one and a half so I have two of that which I'm going to join in the middle to have a long strip so back to the sleeve so all i did was to just get a leftover fabric as i have here let me see that so i'm just folding it then i'll fold again so one part will be for one sleeve the other part will be for another sleeve so this is it so how wide do you want your sleeve to be the pants so i'm just going to make it four inches with seam allowance because i'm going to hem it in and also attach the dress uh, sorry <laughs> the crop top here so let me just use a total of four for four and a half seam allowance so that's what i have here just make that straight Then at the end here, you just come to the middle, measure whatever you have. I have four and a half, so I'm just going to come in by two inches or two and a half, just half of that. And then I'm just going to cut. This 
sleeve then I can cut into two this for one sleeve this for the other sleeve so it's going to be gathered and you see that and you see that so you could still make this place come in a little bit that it all depends on your preference so you want this people tip it so that is it on the dress so we can now start sewing it all up I'm going to sew up the panels together I've already notched my dart so don't forget to do that then this is the front for the hopala and that is the back so the first thing I'm going to do now is to sew in my dart for both the front and the back then for the belt I'm just going to join this up in the middle just make sure right side are facing each other then I'm going to sew in one inch before we finish that hole then coming to the sleeve I will have to gather it up just run a straight stitch here and then gather it up to whatever measurement you have on the ham hole here so you just gather it up to that then after taking in my dart I'm just going to sew up the shoulders by half an inch so let me quickly do that sewing in the dart so this is for the front the back and you can see that so I've sewn in all the dart and I've attached it by the shoulder another thing I feel to talk about was that at the point where the overlap is going to be you should have notched that on your fabric because after taking the neckline that shouldn't be affected so after taking the neckline you know it should overlap through the notches you have so having done all that then for this sleeve look at what i have all i did was to just split it and it came out nice making sure it is the same measurement with the sleeve can you see that also the belt i have joined it up at the middle and i had to iron it back so the last thing we are going to do to the belt is this just measure about two to three inches and then you connect to the edge this way so that's what we're going to have good the next thing i'm going to do now is to hem the neckline from the front to the back so you could just either fold it in or overlock the edges and just fold into sew it up i folded the head of the sleeve too as you can see so let me quickly do that and then i can attach the sleeve also and sew in the sides so the neckline so looking at it here so this is the back all i did was just sew it straight all down so all you have to do next is to join the sides by three quarter inch we left which is what i have here so i joined the side so this is the front this is the back so i've joined the side so once i join this other side so the next thing we are going to do now is this so decide whichever one you want to overlap and then place it on each other make sure the notches match because that's the center point let me see what i have then i'm going to run a stitch over it to secure it before we attach everything to the belt i've joined it up now at the notched area can you see the overlap is formed it's so beautiful so the back is opened it is the belt that will close the back off on the right side this is what we have can you see that so beautiful so haven't done that now the next thing i'm going to do is this we need to sew up 
attach the belt to it so and how do i do that so now this is the right side towards me let me explain it this way so can you see what we have now i will have to open this up this is the wrong side of this and open this other one too then make sure the notch because that's the center matches the midpoint of the belt and you see the way i attach that this is the wrong side of the belt this is the right side of the fabric so, now, so that means we'll be having the right side of the belt facing the wrong side of the fabric you see what i have then i'm going to sew in half an inch half an inch all through from the end of the back one hand of the back to the other hand of the back so i'm going to sew that first then come back to show you the next step i've attached the bodies to the belt as you can see so right now when i bring out the belt this is what i have so on the wrong side i have something perfect then back to the front all i have to do is this i've taken in half an inch i'm now have to fold a half an inch then cover up the seam so this is what we want to have so can you see so i'm going to take my time to do the same thing all through so i'll have to do that all through then when i get to the remaining part of the belt i will have to fold this initial one in then by the time i'm coming with the upper one i then have to fold it together can you see that then i'll have to sew it all down but you must have sewn this edge so before then fold this this way before i start at all then i'm just going to take half an inch to this point then turn it inside out then i can sew the upper part so let me quickly do that and now the top is ready can you see how beautiful that looks and at the back this is what i have now i'm going to place it on the mannequin to see how beautiful it looks this is the beautiful crop top we've just made and you can see how wonderful and beautiful it is just give it a try and share with us on our facebook group sewing innovations you can tag me on instagram looking signatures with your lovely crop top can you see that so wonderful can you see the back i'm in love with the back can you see that so make sure you give it a try I remain your girl bookies. Bye guys.